Greetings and welcome back to Days Bygone. All right, so let's just jump in. All right, so what happened to this series? Well, unfortunately, this series wasn't really doing too well, so I just kind of moved on. However, something did happen that I wanted to make a video of, and uh, I was kind of looking for a hole in the schedule. When Thursdays kind of are days where you put up videos that you really you know, don't think they're going to do too well. If you think a video is going to do well on a Thursday, really you're going to put it up on a Friday because weekends are where it's at for YouTube if you're a uh, content provider. So what happened? I followed the schedule here, the old schedule. You can see it's kind of wrapped around here again. On day 28, they give you five legendary heroes. They give you five of the same legendary heroes. And in my case, it was Lilith. And I already had her at level three, so she's actually level eight right now. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means I can ascend her. So I haven't done that yet, and it's kind of what I wanted to make this video out of. But just before we do that, I do have some hero tickets. As a matter of fact, I think I have a freebie for today. Yes, I have a freebie. Let's just do the freebie here. Gwen. I actually got a freebie and got, um, where is he? I got Kane an upgrade, so Kane is actually level two. And I have 20, so let's just do 20 twice. Uh, pardon me, let's do 10 twice. All right, so let's see, because it's going to get us at least a guaranteed epic, maybe. Nice. Okay, Garp. Wouldn't have been my first choice. Nope, nope, would not have been my first choice. All right, let's do another 10. Maybe we'll get something better than Garp. Okay, Eleanor. Unfortunately, she's purple. She also has pointy ears. Yeah, not even a Greg upgrade. Very, very unfortunate. Oh, well, it is what it is. All right, so we're here for the Ascension. And then, of course, we're going to be able to see what this is all about. And what is transmuting? I have no idea. Do the other guys have that? Hold it a minute. They do. I just never saw it. Okay, well, you know what? What we're going to do is we are going to ascend Lilith. And maybe she becomes the premier damage dealer. Since she got to 8, she's pretty standard right at level 3 in terms of the damage. She's the third most biggest damage dealer. All right, so let's just do the ascension here. All right, so she's going to get a star. She's going to go from level 8 to level 4, which is interesting. If I had gotten another one of her... Would I have been able to rank her up again? Anyway, her bonus is going to go from times 27 to times 60. Her cooldown is going to get slightly reduced. Um, I'm guessing that's her damage, the times there. And I have no idea what the Zs are at the bottom. Maybe that's, I don't know, maybe that's a critical? I have no idea. Anyway, it seems that I do have these little things down here to ascend her. So, let's ascend her. Okay, well, I mean, that could have been more, like, amazing. I guess not. All right, what do we have over here now? Can I do something here? Oh, I need more of those little horns, don't I? Okay, and I, I okay, it's actually telling me I'll get extra damage, one and a half damage. That reduces her cooldown. That increases the damage. I think the cooldown reduction would probably be the big one right there. If you could cut a half second off or more, that would be very good. Okay, what is this? Okay, increasing the critical damage. Increasing critical damage. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them over there. All right, unfortunately, I can't do anything because I don't have these little thing things, I guess. Can I do some transmutation here? I don't know what this is all about. This one, I can turn those in. All right, so these are the catalysts that I have left, I believe. And I'm looking to see, I guess I could turn them into three. But then again, it's not enough to actually do the job, right? Because I need four. So let's go back for a second here. Ascend. All right, I would need a different catalyst now in order to ascend her again. Although I only need one more level. All right, well, you know what? She is more powerful now. If you can see, she has a much better uh, multiple in terms of damage here, and we reduced her uh, skill time. So why don't we just test her? Uh, another thing I have is I do have some... Um, 
I have some of these boxes here. I got them from leveling up. I also got them from the daily login. So why don't we just open them up and see? Maybe I get a better legendary. Or maybe I can just throw away my minigun and use a shuriken. No, let's not do that. Let's sell that one. All right, let's go. Uh, no, beginner sword. Not really interested at this point. Okay, I wish you could just set it to automatically turn anything that's, you know, common into rubies, you know? Yeah, because that's uh, kind of a waste of my time, isn't it? But then again, you know, if you want to get legendaries, you're going to have to see a lot of garbage, right? Yeah, like that, for instance. I am very interested to see how she does now in terms of the damage. Do I still have the grenade? All right, I'm going to hold on to that one for a second. Yes, I do. All right, let's get rid of the old grenade then. Just because it's always good to have a grenade lying around, you know? You never know when you're going to need it. All right, let's uh, go back to here. I mean, if I could get a updated minigun, that'd be good. Ooh, I saw something, I saw something yellow back there. It was a golden, and it definitely wasn't a beginner's sword. All right, four more left. Okay, cleaver. No, thank you. Getting terrible stuff here. Yeah, the only thing that I didn't get that was common was the grenade. And it was an upgrade. And a beginner's sword, just what I always wanted. All right, two more, and then we're going to go and do some battling. Yippee! Nah, I have no interest in the long sword. I've tried the long sword, it's not really useful. All right, last one. I could go out and get more, but I don't see a reason to do that at this moment. It's not like I'm dying because I don't have, like, a powerful weapon. You know, could I have had the updated bazooka? I would love to have had the bazooka back if it was, like, up to date, you know? I mean, the one I had, I got rid of because it was, like, really old. I mean, I don't really need the sniper rifle anymore. It's just really hard to put away a sniper rifle when you have an extra spot open down here. And uh, most of the killing they do anyway, even all the way to where I am. Which, by the way, at the moment, we are about to do day 150. Now, I haven't actually done any of these in the meantime. Probably should have, but, you know, the thing about it is, I didn't know if I was ever going to be making videos for this again. And I have a lot of uh, mobile games that I am doing that I have to kind of keep up. And a couple that I'm actually not doing videos for. All right, so let's go into the campaign and see how an ascended Lilith does. All right, I will have to do something with the big boss, I think. I'm going to let them handle the mini boss because they're actually pretty good at handling the mini boss. Kane just kind of grabs it and they all attack it, you know? Okay, that was Lilith. Oh, there's two of them. And they both die, like, instantly. Okay, and then we have a boss coming up. I'm gonna let them, I'm gonna let them see how they do. Okay, he's taking a lot of damage. Okay, can they kill him before he destroys my gate? Actually, they're doing it, aren't they? Yeah, I don't have to do anything. And he didn't do a lot of damage to it, too, did he? But he did drop a box. Okay, so what do we have here? All right, it's kind of the same as it was. You have Kane on the top. He does an enormous amount of damage here. And then we have our main man over here. I, unfortunately, I forgot his name for a moment. That's how long it's been since I did this game. And then we have Lilith in here. And, of course, Greg is in fourth place there. But there's kind of a big fallback after that. Okay, it was a boss fight, so maybe that wasn't a good representation. Because, after all, he was locking on to one individual and doing a lot of damage here. Um, and besides, I see a weapons crate. Or is that two I see? All right, let's just 
do a regular fight and see how they do. Okay, and again, there are two of them. Oh, that's a new one, though. But they do appear... Okay, they actually did a lot more damage to the, uh, the fence than the, uh, the main boss did. Okay, yeah, it's pretty much just going to be like that. I mean, even though we ascended her... She's falling into the same category as uh, she was before. You know, I think it's mostly because you have the other two guys who are just doing their damage before she does. But I'm wondering, though, I'm just going to do something crazy here. All right, I'm not going to do that, though. Um, but I'm going to do, take a look at this for a second here because I got two crates and I'm going to open them. Got very close to that rocket launcher, you know, and I want to... Ooh, okay. I mean, it's purple. I love purple. Sal. And here, I'd rather have some gold, please. Like I said, I'd love to have my rocket launcher back if it was at this level. Okay. Yeah, and that's not... The makeshift bow is not a rocket launcher. It doesn't explode anywhere near as good. So, anyway. All right, so let's do... I'm thinking the expedition. I have no idea when Hunt opens, by the way, or what opens it because it doesn't actually tell us, right? But this time, I think I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do easy because I want to see without my assistance how far they get. And the last time we did this, we did it with normal, but I'm just very curious. Would this be a situation that I could leave it for a while? Now, unlike the dungeon. You know, the difficulty does ramp up, and they do send bosses every minute. I think we got to nearly four minutes on normal mode, but it didn't really seem to be a lot more of the fossils. I'm fairly confident, though, if I gave them the, um, the dungeon at the highest level, that they would have no problem with it. Okay, we've got 30 seconds. The boss is going to show up, of course, on the, the minute. Yeah, not a lot really come here. It's really the, um, the bosses that are the issue, isn't it? All right, 55. Two, one, zero, here comes a boss. Wow, just like died instantly. Okay, I'd be very interested to see how they handled the next boss too. I mean, if I left this for a while, how long would they do it? I mean, I've only gotten one uh, fossil. Now I have two fossils because I started with three. I don't even care about money anymore. I mean, the only thing I can really put money into is critical damage and then damage. And that's about it. And we got another fossil here. All right, 15 seconds to next boss. Because Kane did go up a level, so he's uh, he's more powerful than he was. But he was pretty powerful anyway. Okay, here we go. We got another boss here. And he, did, he didn't get even off the edge of the screen before he died. So I could probably leave that for a while. But I am not going to do that. All right, I am yeah, I'm not going to revive. No, that's kind of silly. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, I also could increase spell damage, but I don't use spells a lot, so that. And that's about it. All right, so let's see. Very quickly, let's just see the dungeon at the highest difficulty. And I don't really care about what I'm collecting. It's kind of meaningless. I mean, I have nearly 20,000 of the keys, and I'm not even using them. 
I did buy a couple of hero ones so we could get up to the 20, but that was about it. All right, there should be a little guy coming here. Okay, you. Okay, he's actually a little on the tough side. And then he's dead. So I, I think there would be a countdown at this point because it did do damage to the little gate here. So eventually they would get through. So at this setting, probably it wouldn't last a very long time. But those guys are dropping a lot of keys. We'll let the next boss come. Okay, this these two. Okay, he's dead, he's dead. Okay, so they didn't get... Oh, they did do damage, though. It's down to 147. I mean, the thing is that if I really want the keys, all I have to do is set it at level 99 and let it go, and then just come back the next morning. And then I'll have as many as I ever want. I, I just don't really need them very much at this point. That's the thing. I mean, if I want to get a whole bunch of hero cult picks or, or weapon crates, yeah, I could. You can also get some gems with them. But remember, there's kind of a cooldown on that. And is he going to do damage? Yeah, he took a chunk off, too. He took about 30 off there. I think he only got one hit in there, too. So, all right. Let's just uh, call it there. Add an extra hundred. And some more money, so... Okay, up to 545. Alright, and... Um, yeah, so we ascended Lilith, but unfortunately she's still relegated to third place. Because her skill just isn't up to the other ones. Now, Kane has the incredible advantage, is that he can do his, like, once every half second. Now, that's the reason Dark Merlin is perpetually in the back, and that's the reason that he's not even in there anymore. Is because, look, it takes him 18 seconds to do his skill. Mikhail, that's the other guy. It takes him 18 seconds. So there's usually nothing alive on the screen when he does what he does. So that's the reason that you have, see, Merlin is actually in there, is because his is every nine seconds, so he actually does more damage. Mikhail, that's it, five, six and a half seconds on that one. He would be interested to uh, to do an upgrade on. But if I had more of these things over here, I might be able to help her. I mean, what I would do is the cooldown is her really big problem. I mean, it's just a matter of she needs to do it more often. That does seem to be the only cooldown one. I don't see... Oh, they're at the end. There's some more cooldown ones at the end. But you need a lot of those little things for that. I wonder if I went to buy some of those. Hold on a minute. Dungeon. Hero Catalyst. Let me buy one. I think it's a package. Okay, but that's not the one that I wanted. All right. So in that case, I would need to have actually have a lot of those. I don't think you can buy them with anything else. That's a rune. I never got to the point where you could use runes. I don't know when they actually are something you would put in. Because, I mean, I've gotten a couple of them. It's just nothing really comes up. And I could do some... Uh, I think I did the rubies. Yeah, I did the rubies up here. I didn't do anything else because I didn't care enough, right? Extra rubies is fine. I mean, I have a lot of rubies. It's just uh, not really much to spend them on. I mean, I could buy a ton of heroes. But like I said, at this point, I think interest has waned on this game enough that uh, just probably not going to make any more videos. But I did get the opportunity to do the Ascension, so I thought we would take a look at that. It's just, it doesn't really seem to help her very much because Kane and Mikhail are just so much stronger. Anyway, I think that's going to do for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.